is up oh man <laughs> oh shit <laughs> i just felt shit wrong <laughs> oh well here let me change that shit all right oh my bad Man, what is going on, man? Roll call, man. Shout out to everybody out there in uh, Vegas. Uh, look, this shit throwing me off. Oh, my bad. Look, because I'm doing something. My bad, y'all. There we go. All right, here we go. I'm just trying to make sure something is working. Okay, there we go. Cool. Man, shout out to everybody out there in Vegas. It's hot as motherfucker, too, by the way. Shout out to everybody everywhere. Uh, shout out to to the homegirls, uh, Miss Tanya Latine, Arizona. Shout out to everybody in Vegas. <laughs> shout out to the homegirls, Shawnee in Philly. Man, shout out to you, man, Shawnee. This look, I'm out there, yo, because I want I want y'all to listen. I know y'all already heard it, but I want to play it again. The shit had me rolling. Shout out to the homegirl Erica, Florida in the building, aka Florida. Shout out to the to my OGs, my brother Dave No Compromise. Uh Joja is definitely in the building. And my brother Jay Young Blood Tags in the building. I'm trying not to laugh, y'all. Shout out to the old girl Jerica. In Vegas also. And shout out to my home girl Melina, North Carolina, aka North Cackalock in the building. I'm trying not to laugh, y'all. I gotta play this shit for y'all. Cause this shit, man, I was rolling. I sent David some uh here, let me turn this shit down. We're gonna get into it. Hey man. David. Man, I sent David some some uh some text messages. Some some text messages. I hope he playing for people. I hope it pissed people off. Nigga. When I mean I tell y'all, I've been saying this shit the whole time. Y'all can it's on record too. I'm like, dude, this bitch is East Indian. She's cosplaying as a foundational black American. And pandering to black people, and black people are so dumb and ignorant, they just gonna go with the sucker shit. And I was like, if I was Trump's camp, I would divide the pie and be like, well, is she an East Indian or is she a foundation? Is she black American? What do you think he said? And I'm about to play the shit, man. I was rolling. I was laughing so hard. I had to send when I saw her little converse out there in Atlanta. I was rolling. <laughs> Excuse me. I was rolling. See, I'm allergic to bullshit. But here, hold on. Let me let me find this shit so I can play this shit for y'all. Man, this shit had me rolling. He was at the the National uh, African Black or some bullshit. You know, where's where's black people? The National Journalists of whatever. Probably a bunch of tethers and sambos and mammies and shit that think they somebody. Cause that lady was being real hostile. I get it. You being hostile? How you gonna be hostile with him but not hostile with Joe Biden? And Joe Biden put over 500,000 people in prison. I don't get niggas. Niggas want to be hostile with him, but you don't. They the same motherfucker. Donald, here's the difference between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. He don't give a fuck. And he'll just say whatever the fuck he want to say. So 
So I'm about to play this shit, man. I hope y'all need to listen. This shit had me rolling. I was rolling when I when that shit came out of his mouth. They didn't have no answer. They didn't even know what to say. <laughs> listen to this shit. Start by addressing the elephant in the room, sir. A lot of people did not think it was appropriate for you to be here today. You Look, let me tell y'all something. She trying to treat a dominant society billionaire. Like, it's an honor for him to be talking to a whole bunch of niggas. It, first of all, let me tell you something. He's going to be a billionaire whether he's the president or not. He's an ex-president. So he's going to have access to shit. See, this is what I, what was I telling David got to. I hope David played the motherfuckers. I sent David a cold-ass text message, and I hope he played it. Uh, I, but I want him to play it on his platform. He ain't got to tell him it was me. Just play it on his platform. These people that's acting like this, they're potentially going to put other foundational black Americans in harm. What did I tell y'all before? Who do y'all think own these major corporate plantations? Y'all don't think the Democrats own them. No, a lot of these people are wealthy white Republicans. So think about that when you go into your job, your corporate plantation where you got to feed your family and pay your bills. Don't let these dumbass niggas write a check that ain't no other nigga gonna be able to cash don't ever let people put you in a position like that somebody should be like hey man i get it if your political stances with kamala but you got to be respectful too because you're representing black people as a whole you're not just representing yourself you see what i'm saying but listen just listen to how hostile she was too like a man have pushed false claims about some of your rivals from Nikki Haley to former President Barack Obama saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not. I don't think Barack Obama was born. He's Kenyan, by the way. He's not a foundational black American. Barack Obama is Kenyan. So I, I'm not telling y'all to vote for Trump. I'm just giving y'all the facts. Donald Trump wasn't. He's a billionaire. He's got a billy. So when you have a billy, you're getting access to information that nobody's getting access to. Before we go back into the video, I'm going to give y'all one example. For all you people that's ever visited Las Vegas, Nevada, or have people that visit there, they probably don't even know who owned the power company. Warren fucking Buffett owns it. He bought it like 15 years ago because he's got, inf he's got capital and access to information you, commoners never going to get. So you don't think he foresaw a football team coming here and he saw all the growth? He's a billy. He's been in the stock market for 50, 60 years. So if Donald Trump is a billy, you don't think he had access to real information about Barry Sorrero, which y'all want to call him Barack Obama, some bullshit, sucker shit that them dominant society people said, change your name to Barack Obama. It's more ethnic. It's more urban. Y'all don't think they got people around them telling them that shit? This the same sucker ass nigga that bailed out the banks, bailed out the LBGTQ, made all types of rules and set aside for them, helped all the immigrants. And then when it came to black people, he acted like niggas didn't exist. Then he paraded his wife around and his children around to be relatable to black people. Niggas voted for him twice. And then after he's out of office, years later, he's going to talk about, oh, well, I couldn't do shit for black people because it was uh, right, white supremacy. Man, get your whole ass out of here, nigga. You wasn't no community organizer. You had a white grandmother who left you $450,000, nigga. Now, y'all go find me a grandmother that's going to lend y'all. Man, Ain't no grandmother on this earth that's related to Warren is leaving Warren a motherfucking thing. I got too many goddamn siblings for them to leave me $450,000. And niggas expensive as hell to live in Hawaii. What the fuck you doing growing up in Hawaii, nigga? That's two. And three, how the fuck was you getting into them schools? Because you already had money, power, influence. And your stepfather was the VP of BP Oil. And his real name is Barry Sordero. It ain't no fucking Barack Obama. Them niggas was lying to y'all. Remember when he was like, I got to pay my... My college debt. Ain't no president paying back shit. They give him a salary of like $500,000 a year. He probably used that money to pay his student loans back, and he just chilled and lived off the government. That nigga wasn't paying those student loans. He the fucking president. Don't let these niggas make you feel like they one of you. These niggas ain't one of you. But listen to this shit. True. You have told four congresswomen of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. They weren't American citizens if he told them to go back to where they came from. You have used words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. <laughs> hey, look, like I said, I'm not telling niggas to go vote for Trump, but that nigga's entertaining. 
That he's the only president I've, I've ever. He's only only president I've ever seen run and say, "If y'all don't like what I'm saying, y'all can go fuck yourself." And he still he said, "You grab him by the pussy," <laughs> and he still won. <laughs> You've had what he say? That's locker room talk. <laughs> and he still won. There with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir. This is what this lady don't get. Your boss is a white supremacist. Motherfuckers be acting like only the Republicans are white supremacists. There ain't no Democrats white supremacists. They're both white supremacists. And they both don't fuck with niggas. The fuck is if they did, they give niggas reparations and niggas would be in positions of power to help their own people. Now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you? Why should we trust Kamala Harris? She locked up all them niggas in California. After you have used language like that. Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner. <laughs> Let me translate it for you, bitch. I'm up a billy and you work at this bullshit. Like they didn't even understand where he was coming from. David James, y'all know what I'm saying. When you had that type of money, when you a billies, I'm talking about you, you not a millionaire, but a billionaire, man, get the fuck out of here. He could buy that damn fucking station, whatever y'all broadcasting from. People don't even understand what it is to be up that type of money. He can make these bitches lives a living hell if he really, really wanted to. For real. No, he ain't this. This ain't no Kanye, Jay-Z. Man, Trump got. That's generational wealth money. And I think a lot of us feel like they got these Democrats hyping up so... These Democrats are hyping up so many black people to be talking shit, but watch when the shit is over. Just watch when the shit is over. No matter who wins, we gonna be the ones suffering. Watch. First question. You don't even say, hello, how are you? <laughs> are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. <laughs> and... I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. Uh, I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country. Do y'all hear people clapping? See, they don't like that shit. Because it was probably a lot of niggas like, nigga ain't lying. <laughs> uh, including uh, employment, including uh, opportunity zones with Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina which is one of the greatest programs ever for uh, black workers and black entrepreneurs mm. and done so much. And what has Joe Biden and Kamala Harris done besides the 94 crime bill for black folk? They, they knew Donald Trump was going to destroy him. So they's like, well, just put the nigga bitch in there. Well, she's not really black. Well, these dumb niggas will vote for her because she look like them. That's how they feel. That's how the Democratic Party feel about niggas. And niggas are so dumb, they don't even see like, damn, y'all kind of low-key insulting us. She not black. I can see if y'all did Maxine Waters. Now, if Maxine Waters was running, okay, it'd be a little different. Because I got love for Maxine Waters. That's a foundational black American woman. But all these other, like her, nah, Mammy. I need to get the music for her. You know, and I say this, uh, historically black colleges and universities were out of money. They were stone cold broke. Hey, that's a fact. Look, whether you like Trump or not, he saved them HBCUs because all them, them mammies and sambos was up there skinning and grinning in this goddamn office. But he saved them, though. And he was pardoning a lot of niggas. Didn't he pardon Kwame Kirkpatrick from Detroit, the mayor that was stealing? Yep, he got Lil Wayne. He got, uh, what's that Haitian brother in Florida? He pardoned him because that nigga was about to go to jail too. Yeah, he was, he, man, he was released. He pardoned Harry O from Death Row. Yeah, he did all that. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm taking a tally of how many motherfuckers that Kamala and them helped versus what he doing. We just going facts. And I saved them and I gave them long term financing and nobody else was doing it. I think it's a very rude introduction. I don't know exactly why you would do something like that. And let me go a step further. I was invited here and I was told my opponent, whether it was Biden or Kamala, uh, I was told my opponent was going to be here. It turned out my opponent isn't here. You invited me under false pretense. And then you said you can't do it with Zoom. Well, 
uh, you know, where's Zoom? She's going to do it with Zoom, and she's not coming. <laughs> and then you were half an hour late. Just so they set him up. They try to make him look stupid. That's all that was. We understand. I have too much respect for you to be late. They couldn't get their equipment working or something Mr. was President, wrong. Mr. President, I would love I think if you it's can a answer very the question, nasty question. Well, I, I have answered the question. Trust you with another I have years. been the best president <laughs> for the black population <laughs> since Abraham Lincoln. Better That's than, my answer. Better than President Johnson who signed the Voting Rights Act. For you to start off a question and answer period, especially when you're 35 minutes late because you couldn't get your equipment to work in such a hostile manner, I think it's a, a disgrace. I really Look, this is why you like, Warren, why are you laughing? You for Trump? No, no. I'm showing y'all how the Democrats are putting batteries in black folks' backs to go up against a billionaire. You don't have that type of capital. When you go to war, you got to have your money right. These are broke, desperate niggas who's just doing whatever somebody told them to do. I would have been like, man, I'm not going to invite him over here to try to publicly humiliate him. I'm going to invite him over here. Let's hear his side. That's what journalism is. Well, let me hear your side. We're going to hear Kamala's side, and then we're going to go from there. No, you up there being hostile. Then, now he done put you out there. You late. Your shit ain't working. Then you lie. You said Kamala was going to be. That was a setup. But it's only going to backfire on black folk. It ain't going to. Look. They don't look. The dominant society does not care about the Latinos. Don't don't care about the Asians. They know when black folks say and do stuff. We set the trends. The rest of the nation follows. Why do you think they're both trying to get in on the black vote? They know what we do. They know everybody follows what we say and what we do. That's a fact. Do Let I me just ask a follow up, sir, and then we'll move on to other questions here. That was former President Donald Trump answering <laughs> questions on a panel. Hey, I got one more thing. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Let me look it up. Donald Trump. Uh, <laughs> saying Kamala isn't black. I'm about to look this shit up. Because that shit, he, he was killing their ass with that shit. Listen to this. I, I really need y'all to listen to this. I hope they play this part right here hello everyone i just landed in charlotte we have a tremendous rally unbelievable oh. hold on let's see uh, mr president we so appreciate you giving us an hour of your time i want to start by addressing the elephant in the room sir oh we already watched sir. that hold on now that you are asking black supporters to hold on we've been asked the question because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. <laughs> Hold on, let me get to it. A number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be... Hold on, y'all need to listen to this. Only promoting Indian heritage. Listen to this. I want y'all to listen to this. Listen to it. Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible <laughs> network. She was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I now, what did I tell y'all a couple podcasts ago? She's East Indian. Her dad is from Jamaica, but he's East Indian too. He's a professor in the United States of America. They immigrants. They're not from this country. The dad already came out and blew her spot up and was like, she's not black, she's East Indian. Them East Indians don't identify as black. They identify as East Indians. And niggas are so dumb because this bitch want to eat chicken and talk about she can cook collard greens. Bitch, stop cultural appropriating. That's how dumb people are. They just go with anything. I thought we learned that from Obama. Obama, Obama 08, Obama 012. Then the nigga got out of office, didn't do shit, took care of his family. You didn't hear from that nigga no more. And then when he came back, the nigga was talking about, I couldn't do nothing because you know it was racism. Well, nigga, we were saying that shit the whole time you was in office. Oh, ass nigga. The fuck out of here. No, she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know. Is she Do y'all hear the people in the audience laughing? Oh my God, I got I gotta play it again. I'm sorry. Y'all need to listen to this shit. Turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to either. No, she hasn't. That's a lie. You see how they got that? You see how they put a battery in a dumb bitch's back? And be like, she black. No, she not. 
Rachel Dolezal was pretending to be black too because it benefited her. People don't know. She was filing for all type of grants and shit as a black person. And then when she couldn't get them, she would apply for the grants as a Caucasian and get the grants and go to a black college. So she was playing both sides to her benefit. That bitch didn't give a fuck about no black people. And then she tried to sell a book once her white parents outed her ass and was like, she not black. She's white. And then, then the NAACP looked dumb because they was like, so are you black or are you white? And she walked away. Man, what you think? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Somebody's going to really be like, so are you black or are you white? And then they're going to start bringing out the facts. And then guess what's going to happen? That's when it's going to all come crumbling down like a goddamn domino effect. So listen to this shit. Just listen to what he's saying. I'm going to keep playing so you can listen. And black, and now she wants to be known as black. So I Listen to the crowd laughing. See, they're trying to propagate like, oh, Kamala's going to kick his ass and all this other shit. Donald Trump ain't no dummy. And his party is not dumb. And his strategists are not dumb. And they are listening to foundational black Americans call out the Sambos, Mammies, and Coons. They are taking our talking points of how we feel about Kamala and they're giving them to Donald and he's saying them because he don't give a fuck. I'm a Billy. I'm up a Billy. What the fuck can I lose? People want me in office anyway. So why do you think he would say that? And I've been saying that. She's East Indian. It's not going to work. Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black. I'm going to play it again. She was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black. As she was promoting Indian heritage. Because when she first came out, she was listening to Cardi B. Then she had to concede because no, she didn't get the nomination to be the fucking president. So she had to concede and kind of bow out. Because she was getting her asses kicked in those debates. Until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black. And now she <laughs> wants to be known as black. So I don't know. Is she Indian or is she black? Ah, she has always had you know a black I respect a either black one. college. I respect either one. But she obviously doesn't. Ooh, did y'all hear that again? That was a shot to us, y'all. Y'all need to listen. That's a high vibrating shot. David, tell me if you disagree. That's disrespectful to y'all. So is she East Indian or is she black? Now, Foundation of Black Americans is supposed to stand up and be like, she ain't black. She East Indian. So nah, that's what's supposed to happen. And they know that, look, that momentum of announcing her as the, as the next president, that shit is about to be a farce. Y'all going to see? Watch. Coming from the border are millions and millions of people that happen to be taking black jobs. Thank you. You had the best. What exactly is a black job, sir? A black job is anybody that has a job. That's what it yep. is, anybody that has a job. All right. And Mr. They're taking, President, they're can They're taking I... the employment away from black people. Hey, he wasn't lying. That's what I want y'all to hear. He wasn't lying. Y'all tell me if he was lying. He wasn't lying. <laughs> Let's see what they say right here. Let's see what they saying right here. Because he wasn't lying. Let's see. Combative interview. Former President Donald Trump draws outrage for questioning Vice President Kamala Harris's identity as a black woman. He then accused Harris of ad adopting the racial profile. And he's not lying. See, y'all know who controls the media. It's our job to put out the real information. He's not lying. She's an East Indian cosplaying as a foundational black American woman. She's a fraud. To gain a political advantage, the vice president, who has long embraced both her black and South Asian heritage. She's not black. Her dad is from Jamaica, but he is East Indian. His, his nationality is Jamaican, but he is East Indian heritage. And you notice they won't put that shit out there. Said Trump's attacks were, quote, the same old show of divisiveness and disrespect. KTLA's John Vinolio joins us live in studio with a closer look at the outcry over Trump's remarks. Hi, John. Yeah, Court Micah, that's right. Critics are condemning former President Trump's comments as divisive and racially insensitive. Mr. Trump made those remarks about the vice president. He was not lying. And I'm a foundational black American, and I approved that message. And he wasn't lying about the borders. He wasn't lying about any of that shit. 
Watch what's going to happen. And I, I, now, I can't wait to see all these black people that's behind her. And if she win, and then your jobs get taken over by all these immigrants, don't be fucking crying to no niggas about, man, these immigrants taking all the jobs. I don't want to hear none of that sucker shit. They done already took over the goddamn housing industry. I ain't seen no niggas build no houses in Vegas and no niggas build no houses nowhere else I've been to. Not in Denver, not Idaho, not nowhere that I have traveled to. I ain't seen none of that. You probably have to go to the South. But I know on the West Coast, ain't no niggas building no houses. It's all immigrants. While being asked if he believed she was a DEI hire, as in diversity, equity, and inclusion, as some Republicans have said. Now, during the combative exchange, Trump said Harris, quote, became a black person. Speaking to a leading black sorority in Houston, Vice President Kamala Harris responding to former President... A black sorority. What did I tell you about that ski bullshit? All right, y'all gonna see. Trump's attacks challenging her racial identity. It was the same old show. The divisiveness and the disrespect. And let me just say, the American people deserve better. No, we deserve for foundational black Americans to have reparations and get the jobs that we rightly deserve and not be fucking competing with immigrants. That's what we deserve. You shouldn't even be here. You immigrant. Earlier, Trump spoke at a conference of black journalists in Chicago and falsely accused Harris of misleading voters about her race. Harris's father is Jamaican and her mother is Indian. And Jamaicans do not identify as black. They identify as Jamaican. That's a fact. Why is everybody acting like this is new? What do they say? Oh, I'm Jamaican. What does Buster Rhymes say? I'm Jamaican. They don't, oh, I'm black. No, you Jamaican. She identifies as black and attended an HBCU. She was always of Indian heritage and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know. And you hear the people in the audience? I know y'all hear them people in the audience laughing. If I would have been there, they'd have ushered my ass out of there because I would have been like, he ain't lying. Y'all just some dumb niggas. Y'all just go for anything. He ain't lying. You gonna vote for Trump? No, don't vote for none of these motherfuckers. Vote for what, man, vote your interest like Dr. Claude Anderson been saying all this damn time. Motherfuckers just vote for Kamala just like here go this Obama shit all over again. You know, she's skiing all this other shit. Now, watch what happened when this woman get in office. She ain't even gonna look at no fucking black people. And I'm gonna be laughing my ass off. And and and, and Donald Trump and them gonna be Republicans gonna be doing the bird man hand rub. Like, yep, that's what y'all dumb niggas get. Is she Indian or is she black? She has always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically black one. college. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't. Because she was Indian all the way, and then yep. all of a sudden she made a turn and she went, she became a black person. Just Trump combated from the start <laughs> after one of the moderators, Rachel Scott of ABC News, asked pointed questions about his past controversial statements. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions <laughs> that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. Oh my You've had God. Dinner with the white supremacist. She must ain't her. Look, you can call me names all day long. But when you start to intervene with policies that affect black people, that's when I have a problem. And Joe Biden, he didn't have to call us niggas. He treated us like niggas and put us in prison. It's at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? <laughs> Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked the question. <laughs> Look, let me stop, because I'm going to be laughing the whole time. I just wanted to play that shit for y'all, because I wanted y'all to know what the fuck is really going on. I know I went way over my time, but man, was Trump right? That's the question. Was he right? Was he right with what he said about Kamala? Was he? Y'all leave y'all comments. Tell me, what was he right? Me personally, I think he was right. You an East Indian, you don't identify as black. Barack Obama did not identify as no nigga. He just identified when it, it was when it was convenient for him. That's why delineation is great. They trying to take over hip hop. I ain't never seen so many Puerto Ricans talking about they done created hip hop. And then when you be like, well, if y'all did, then why it ain't more of y'all in the damn sport? 
of hip hop. Why it isn't no fucking Puerto Rican Nas or no Puerto Rican J or no fucking Puerto Rican Andre 3000 or Big Boy from Outkast? Why it ain't no Puerto Rican Ghostface Killer? <laughs> I'm just saying. Why, like, stop, dog. Y'all niggas, niggas act like because they took a picture that they created some shit. Nigga, you didn't create nothing. That's why we got to fucking take shit back. Take the culture back. Stop letting people borrow from the culture. And then when it's not convenient for them no more, they throw that shit away. Like J-Lo. That's why I love that shit with uh, Ben Affleck. Because Ben Affleck, that's a white man. That's a dominant society person. It doesn't matter if you got more money than him. It's his system. He's always going to be employed in Hollywood because it's his system. It's not yours. That's why he be talking shit to her and treating her the way the fuck he do. He didn't treat Jennifer Gardner like that, but he be treating Jennifer uh, 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 Lopez like that. You don't think them dominant society say, one minute you saying nigga because you want to be cool with black people, the next minute you bought equal. Man, get your ass out of here. I'm tired of people flip-flopping. Get the fuck on with that shit. Then motherfuckers want to bring they fucking Puerto Rican flag out when it's time to delineate from us and call it Morena music and all this other shit. But now that hip hop is getting notoriety, now all of a sudden, Fat Joe done got niggas' heads twisted talking about 50 50. I even heard some sucker shit from KRS One with his big head ass. First of all, I don't even pay attention to KRS One. For what? You with this, we all in this, nigga, this ain't we all in the same gang from the 80s and the 90s, nigga. Okay, so then if they created hip hop, which the, the, co created with us, which der derives from. You know, uh, black American culture and our struggle. And why the fuck we ain't owning no bodegas in New York, nigga? Yeah, nigga. That's why I can't wait to talk to David, man. We go live on this shit, man. Cause I'm like, these niggas, man, be lying. What the young people call capping? I call it straight lying or perpetrating. Man, you a perpetrator. Fat Joe, full of shit. Fat Joe is a broke nigga that want a bag. So that's why he walking around here 50 50 and doing all these conferences. And, and every time you look up, you see him everywhere. Yeah, cuz nigga, you you got your shine. So fuck niggas. And it's only the same, you know, you cool with the people that you know, but don't nobody want to tell him, like, dog, that's kind of offensive to black people, bro. That's offensive. One minute you want to say niggas, like, nah, dog, like, but. Where the fuck y'all at when Sonya Massey got shot in her fucking face by a race soldier? Where the fuck are these Puerto Ricans at now? That's a part of hip hop culture. Where are all these? Everybody wants to reward, but no fucking risk. Everybody do, but no fucking risk. That's why I be looking at motherfuckers like, yeah, it's convenient for you to be like, nigga, this, nigga, that. Nigga, you not us though, dog. Y'all from Puerto Rico. Y'all got your own flag. That's why I wish we would have never purchased them or did anything with them so we can literally be like, y'all can go back to, but you still can go back to your country. I don't care what you got them saying. Your people didn't build this country for free without repayment. You don't have a foundational black American last name. I know I do though. <laughs> I know I got one. So I don't want to hear none of that sucker shit from none of them people. You got this lady walking around here identify as black. Yeah, because it's convenient for you now. We didn't even hear from you when Joe Biden was the president. That's why I don't think she wants to debate Donald Trump because he's going to bring up all that shit she did in California. He's going to bring it all up. That's why they don't want to bring up none of Donald Trump shit. If they bring up any sexual anything, oh my God, they're going to kill her. You was Willie Brown's side bitch in San Francisco and everybody know it. Stop! But you still, but you can't talk. You can't even tell most most black folks that look at you upside your head and be like, "Man, I can't believe you vote for Donald Trump." No, nigga, I vote my interest. Who? What you gonna do for me? I am like Shaka Khan. What you gonna do for me? Fuck all this sucker shit and voting because you like a motherfucker. Fuck all that vote for you like a motherfucker. No, I'm voting our interest. Black people in law. I could just use Las Vegas as, as a, an example. Where are all the black businesses that are thriving? I know the Latino businesses are thriving. They got immigration lawyers, tax fucking people. We, what we got? Black people got Jackson Hewitt. That's what we got. We got Jackson Hewitt. We ain't got no tax people. 
We ain't got no CPAs that can do taxes for black people and show black people all the loopholes and the tricks. No, you go to a tax preparer because that's what you've been trained to do. So when a person be telling you all this sucking shit about, man, Trump racist, be like, and so is Joe Biden. Well, come on, Liz. well, did you see how many niggas she locked up? She don't give a fuck about no niggas. That is a power hungry individual, just like Barack Obama, just like they all are. But I'm definitely not telling people to vote for her because she identifies black. Elon Musk is African-American. He from South Africa. That don't mean he black. The fuck is wrong with people, man? I used to cook collard greens in the goddamn man. This lady on Twitter had me rolling. Man, she had me rolling, man. She was just like, we don't give a fuck about you being there to cook no goddamn collard greens in no damn bathtub. <laughs> man, I'm like, man, y'all ain't even, man. All right. Watch when them borders open up and niggas can't get jobs because they give them all to the immigrants. I don't want to hear shit from no nigga. Because the first thing I'm going to do is be like, blame your fellow black woman or black man who was out there talking about you better go out there and vote. They've been saying that go out there and vote for 20 years. Since 2000 and motherfucking vote when Barack Obama spoke at the DNC the first time. Yeah, y'all don't remember that, huh? That's when it was Bush against Kerry. Yeah, y'all remember that? Well, I do. That's when Puff Daddy in there was like, rock the vote and all this other sucker shit. And where the fuck that sucker shit get us? No goddamn where. We still in the same position. Niggas don't own shit. We don't own and control nothing. We don't know how to farm. All we know how to do, go to church, dress nice, drive a nice car that we probably can't afford, the majority of us, including me, and try to fuck as many bitches as we can. That's all we do. And be in competition with each other. That's what we do. So yeah, voting has really brought us very far. Sorry to go over, but that's just how I feel. That niggas just want to be in competition with each other. Niggas don't want to. Niggas do not want to team up and do shit. Niggas want to at any cost. And don't let a woman come around. Niggas will perpetrate in a minute. Just, just the fuck a bitch. They don't even care about the dynamic of 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 relationships and brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all this. I don't care what y'all talking about. Y'all can take y'all ass down there to them polls and go vote and do all this sucking shit. But when the Republican Party and the rest of these wealthy people that are for the Republican Party take stock and inventory of that shit, they going to take it out on niggas. They're not going to take it out on Latinos. They ain't going to take it out on the immigrants. They're going to take it out on niggas. You know why? Because like Dr. Claude Anderson said, the willingest ass carries the load. I'm done, man. <laughs> Guilty, nigga. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>